Let's start by reviewing the reporting and dashboard functionality that's built into Intact and how it can help you analyze your financial data, make informed business decisions, and share information with your team in a meaningful way. Many of our clients agree the strongest feature of Sage Intact is being able to see accurate real-time reporting without having to rely on Excel or figures that quickly become outdated before reports can be finished and delivered. We here at Cargis use Intact internally as our finance software, and many of our team members have personalized dashboards they use on a daily basis to see that relevant information. Here I'm looking at the controller dashboard. Quickly at the top, you can see what we call performance cards for a glimpse into expenses, cash on hand, receivables, and payables, as well as intercompany balances. And as we scroll through the dashboard, you can see the reports, charts, and graphs that the Mac controller has you've chosen to see. If she had any journal entries, bills, or purchase requisitions, or other items to approve, she'd be able to see them right here on her dashboard for easy action. As I mentioned, these dashboards are role-based, so they can be created for any member of your organization, such as a CFO or even just a view-only employee user. Different components can be added to each individual's dashboard, such as this expense summary by department. Note the conditional formatting and visual indicators quickly point out important things for you to notice. These dashboards are all designed by the business user, and you don't have to be a programmer to, to design these. You just drag and drop things around to configure it, as well as adding components up here just simply by clicking this plus sign. Here we can see all of our component types that we can add to a dashboard, such as charts, general components, performance cards, records, reports, any kind of lists, smart links, or collaboration feeds. And if I wanted to filter by any criteria, like a certain date range, department, entity, or location, for example, I can just come up here and use these filters to drill down into those transactions. I don't have to duplicate this dashboards or create any new reports. And since Intact can manage all of your entities and locations with one account, one login, all of those figures are always available to you. You can also drill deeper into your reporting right from this dashboard. So let's say that I'm curious about this GNA expense. Go ahead and click on that number to drill into the source transactions where I can see all of my accounts that make up that GNA expense account group, as well as all the individual transactions. I can drill even deeper into the source transaction and see the individual journal entry. Here is where we see the power of dimensions. As you can see down here, each line item is tagged with a GL account, a location, a department, a revenue line if you wanted to, as well as your debit and credit allocations and any kind of memo that you'd like to see. All of our transactions in Sage Intact also have an audit trail where you can see who last modified it and when, and all the clicks that happen with this transaction. Utilizing the dimensions on each transaction allows you to slice and dice the data in a meaningful way. Now let's explore the report center in a little more depth. Here you can create new reports and duplicate existing reports to save time and avoid starting from scratch. You can schedule reports or a packet of reports to automatically run on a designated schedule and either be saved online for you to retrieve and print or be emailed directly to recipients outside of the system. You do not need to be a user in the system to receive a report by email. Now let's dig in and see how easy it is to use Sage Intax Report Writer. I have this profit and loss statement already created and it's expanded by department. If I take a look at my rows section here, you can see all of my account groups that I have included in this report. At this time, I have them seen as a, at a summary level, but if I wanted to see all the detailed individual GL accounts listed out on the left-hand side, I can quickly and easily apply that across the whole report. Going over to my columns, here's where we can define columns, such as actuals, budget numbers, budget to actual variances, as well as multiple time periods and reporting periods. Here's where I can also change the column titles, expand by different dimensions such as departments, locations, revenue line, vendors, employees, etc. I can also show different numbers, averages, as well as change up my formatting, visual indicators. One of the nice things about the report writer is the ability to live preview a report. So if I make a change on the fly, I can preview that live report without having to save it and change all of my dashboards. We also have the ability to add computations such as percentage of revenue, profit margin, we have the ability to filter out each report by certain locations, departments, or dimension values. In our formatting section, here's where we can change how the report looks when we print to PDF or out to Excel, such as what is going to be bold, adding logos, underlines, dollar signs, and how we display negative balances. As with everything in Sage Intact, we have the, also have the ability to restrict access to this report. 
If this is a certain board report or a management report that we don't want an employee user to see, we can easily add them to the exclusion list so that they aren't able to see this in their report center. Then with next steps, we're able to add this report to a dashboard, schedule to run periodically, or include it in a report group. Go to general ledger now. Now let's review some of the essential finance functionality and core functionality that's available in Sage Intact. One of the strong suits of Sage Intact is the idea of the multi-entity shared environment. Here we can see with one login, we're able to quickly see all of our entities in one area. We can drop down into each individual entity and work at the entity level or work at the top level for a shared environment and able to easily automatically create intercompany transactions in our general ledger here is where we house all of our GL accounts, journals, account groups for reporting, and define our reporting periods. This is also where we have our budgets, create journal entries, close our books for audit purposes so no transactions can be processed before the date that we close the books, and create any adjusting entries after the fact. This is also where we have all of our standard financial reports. Going into create a journal entry, we can see all of our relevant information at the top here, like journal, posting date. If we wanted to automatically reverse this, such as an accrual, payroll, or a rent accrual, we can automatically reverse it on the following month. We have our description, comments, the ability to add attachments, such as Excel files and PDFs. And then down in our entries table, you'll see all of our relevant information, such as GL account and our dimension values. Tagging our dimension values on each transaction, again, allows us to slice and dice that data and be able to get that information out in that meaningful way on dashboards and reports. Our standard accounts payable module houses all of our vendor data, terms, vendor types for reporting, as well as functionality to enter bills, approve bills, and pay bills, all the way through printing the check. If I click on enter a bill, you can see similar to the journal entry, we have all of our information here at the top in our header date, which vendor are we picking? As you can see, when I pick a vendor, it pre-fills and auto-populates information such as the term, pay to, return to, and then due date. We can assign default GL accounts as well as 1099 values to different vendors. Here again, we see the ability to add all of our dimension values as well as the ability to add different locations and entities on one AP bill for intercompany transactions. As I'm going to pay bills, you can see here is where we pick our payment method, whether it be check that we're printing from Sage Intact, credit card transactions, which would automatically post to the credit card liability in Sage, as well as recording transfers or ACH or bank files. We pick our bank, what payment date we're setting it to, and select our bills for payment. If there's any credits or discounts to apply, we can quickly and easily apply them here and click pay now. Similar to accounts payable, accounts receivable module is where we house our customer in terms as well as the customer types for reporting. This is where we can create invoices and receive payments, as well as make deposits to update our cash balances. We also have the ability to print or email invoices and statements, as well as dunning notices right from Sage Intact. Off deposits, as well as access all of our standard reports like customer aging, sales register, and sales tax analysis. Cash management module houses all of your banking and credit card information, including checking, credit card, and savings accounts. Intact offers a built-in banking cloud that allows you to automatically sync with your banking institution for automated bank recs. This automation has helped our customers dramatically speed up their period close processes. And Intact offers built-in ACH functionality as well as check printing that allows you to generate bank payment files directly from the system. The budgeting module within Sage Intact comes with a budget repository, spend management, as well as all of your standard budget reports. Clicking into our repository, you can see all of our different budgets that we're able to keep within Sage Intact. You don't need just one master budget. You can have multiple budgets for different operational instances, like a current year budget, prior year budget, as well as project budgets and revenue plans and spend management plans. Clicking into the budget details, we can see all of our individual line items and dimension combinations and what that budget number is. Within the company module, here's where we're able to add users, create roles and assign roles, as well as import data and manage our departments and locations. Within our company module, this is where we manage our users, entities, and dimension values. We're also able to manage our subscriptions, reporting, and any individual preferences that we have. Along with all the core functionality that we spoke about today, we also have advanced modules that you can add on to increase efficiencies. Things like automated consolidations, inventory control, as well as time and expense management. 
We also have what's called platform services where we can create custom fields, views, smart links, and smart events and rules. Today, we briefly reviewed Sage Intact's cloud-based reporting essential accounting functions. If you'd like to take a deeper dive into Sage Intact with the Cargis team, get in touch at cargis.com contact. Thank you for watching.